Welcome back. Let's find out if we've gotten anything wrong so far. For that, we go to TV's Andy Levy. Andy, did you know that when a cat's tail is flicking slightly at the end, it's a sign that the cat is spying on you? That's good to know, don't you think, when they're spying on you? Yeah, there's a bunch of things I'm not doing in my apartment anymore, Greg. <laughs> well, yeah. there you go. Thanks a lot. Gary. <laughs> Hot. Uh, Hot. Wow. Manny. Uh, first of all, sources now tell ESPN that testing showed that in addition to the, that HCG, Ramirez also had testosterone in his body that was not natural and came from an artificial source. Mm. Mole, told you. Mm. Yep. That could be Andy Dick. Um, <laughs> yes. There was no possessive there, was there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Just checking. Uh, Congressman, you said that Manny plagiarized Greg's note explaining his behavior to Roger Ed not true. Manny actually said the mistake was his responsibility. Mm. And Manny is spell check. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Bill, if you could not answer before the person I asked the question to, that'd be Sorry, great. I was talking about that. Uh, Kay Gill, you said Miss California is now in trouble for being augmented. Actually, she's not. She's in trouble for a bunch of things, but not that. Well, they were blogging about that as well, saying that that was against her Christian values, and then they didn't like the backlist. All right. <laughs> She's not in trouble with the pageant, though. She's not in trouble but with the you're pageant. Right, you're right. You are correct. But she is in trouble, so to speak, with like, right. the Christian community, and then yep. the gays are blogging about it, and it's yep. a big uh, old Perez Hilton controversy. Once the gays are blogging about it. <laughs> blogging. The and they're going to strip her of her title, but I guess not the... But this has nothing to do with the implants. Exactly. So I'm just pointing that out. Yes. Uh, Bill, it's mea culpa, not mea culpa. You call yourself a Latina. <laughs> Again, houseboy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, Jim, you said you believe Manny when he said he didn't know what he was being given. I kind of agree with you. Unlike with A Rod, Manny's just goofy enough that you just know what the doctor said. Take this. Oh, okay. Yeah, the fact that he has hair like Raggedy Andy. Yeah, that's doesn't point help. The fact yeah. He's a bright guy. Yeah. <laughs> also, before Thursday night's game, Dodgers manager Joel, Joe Torre told the press that Manny, quote, feels very badly. Right now, he's trying to gather his thoughts. Mm. Which just shows you what a gracious and generous guy Torre is to use the plural form of thought. <laughs> oh, Obama Burger. Congressman, you said that Bill Clinton was a credible regular guy that when he walked into a Mickey D's, he knew how to supersize it. Same with his interns. <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for Bill to answer. Before. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, by the way, my take on the mustard thing, just put some damn ketchup on a burger. Yeah. Is that that difficult? I like ketchup. There you go. See, you and me. There you go. Yep. Captain and Tennille. Absolutely. I can't believe you're using condiments as a pickup line, Andy. <laughs> you know, everything else has failed. Yeah. You know, I heard they used to do porn in the Captain and Tennille's house. Not when they were there, but I heard that they would rent their house out for porn shoots. Really? Yep. Huh. Fun fact. It is fun. <laughs> it is both a fact and it is fun. Yeah. <laughs> You're never going to be able to listen to Muskrat Love again. <laughs> uh, that was a good you, one. Just as long as you didn't see it filmed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Muskrat Love would be a great name for a porn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Greg Log, Mexico. Greg, you said they've named a chair after you in Thailand. Yes. Is that a type of chair or one specific chair? It was just one specific <laughs> chair. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> one with a tumble Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so if you go to Betsy Perry's page on HuffPo now where she wrote this post, you see a, stat a statement from her that ends with, quote, for that I really do apologize and I have asked that the post be taken down. And right below that is the actual post. Yeah, I know. HuffPo don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. It just made it look even worse. Yeah, absolutely. Lady. Yep. I feel bad for her. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Congressman, you said the more Jim babbles, the more senatorial he looks. So thanks for putting the image of Senator Jim Norton in my head. <laughs> Cool. We can use all the help we can get out here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Even him. <Yeah. laughs> I love that. Oh. Um, oh. Somebody's got a little car. Fireball. Oh, oh, so good. It's an occasional fifi. We done with that now? <laughs> no. Uh, I guess I'm skipping that. Uh, the best part of Betsy, whatever her name is, piece, because I now can't remember. Uh, she said that, quote, nowadays the best PR Mexico has is the movie Beverly Hills Chihuahua, which takes place in Los Angeles. Yes. Uh, yeah. She was asked by the New York Times to explain the connection between the movie and Mexico, and she said, quote, I think it was the Chihuahua. Mm. Like, for, for real. Movie. Yeah. For real. Wow. It yeah. is supposed to be a good movie. I mean, They're making a sequel. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, threesome marriages. Congressman, you seem skepti skeptical that these triads could work. Maybe you didn't know this, but apparently the key to making them work is communication. <laughs> I bet you feel silly now. <laughs> 
I feel, I feel very, very silly. Yeah. Very silly. Uh, and lastly, on this whole kids watching grown-up TV, Kegel, you accused Greg of not having a pool. What part of flooding the basement Friday do you not understand? With the hose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Slip and slide. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's join, a lot of fun. Maybe Kimberly. join us sometime. Yeah. 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 Hey, I'll be there. I'll be yeah. right over. We've Excellent. invented something called Underwater Foursquare. Yeah. <laughs> I am done. Thank you, Andy. Okay. Let me welcome back our guests. Underwater Foursquare. It's the new mm. Olympic thing. No, Kimberly Guilfoyle. There you go. Fox News Channel anchor, former prosecutor and the host of True Crime on FoxNews.com. She's so hot, mirrors fog up in her presence. Mm. Michigan Congressman mm. Thaddeus McCotter. He knows legislation like I know constipation. And comedian Jim Norton. If awesome jokes were cheese whiz, I'd pump him on a cracker. Nice. Hi, mm. right, that was a good one. I like how you pretend when I say you're hot. Oh, not me. I'm not hot. Okay, you're right. <laughs> there you go. All right. She owns a mirror, Greg. Calling all idiot bloggers and YouTube cowards. You've had a good run, but your days may be numbered. That's because a new bill in the House would make it a felony to offend someone online. Here's what a portion of the bill says. Whoever transmits any communication with the intent to coerce, intimidate, harass, or cause substantial emotional distress to a person using electronic means to support severe, repeated, and hostile behavior shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than two years or both. Hey, YouTube user Flyboy1987, this means you. But don't worry, I hear federal prison is nice this time of year. Jim, is this just lawmakers not realizing that the, the, internet, the internet is primarily used for slamming others anonymously? It's just a bunch of dummies trying to legislate thought. I mean, mm -hmm. it was like I think the congressman said before. It, it's like it, it, what is offensive to uh, one mm -hmm. person, it kind of it changes, or yeah. it's 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 not uh, going to be offensive to somebody else. Yeah. And it's like even if somebody's not offended, they're going to use that empowerment. I know I'm paraphrasing, mm -hmm. uh, but you're never going to get this through. It's yeah. not going to go anywhere. Well, congressman, I go to you because you put bills through. I understand this bill is meant to stop cyberbullying, and we all know that cyberbullying is truly evil. It's just as bad as regular bullying. But aren't they getting into some? Something here that the experts like to call a slippery slope? Well, you're absolutely right, Greg. What you're running into again is the subjective nature of who feels offended, who feels coerced, who feels intimidated. You would clearly have constitutional questions raised with this bill. What you have to really look at is a reasonable person standard and or the intent of the individual sending such an email to a person. Yeah. But again, you're absolutely right. Constitutionally, we continue to try to regulate such speech on the Internet, but it proves impossible because, thankfully, there's a First Amendment in place to stop government from infringing that right. But, you know, Kimberly, you're the lawyer. A threat, an actual threat, is against the law anywhere, right? I mean, like, right. it's against the law whether you send it in a letter or you send an email. So that's already covered. I that's mean. right. And we've seen plenty of lawsuits now mm -hmm. coming from, like, MySpace accounts, mm -hmm. different things where people have committed suicide, yeah. bullies in the playground, bullies on the Internet. Right now I'm feeling angry and mean towards the mean people on the Internet, so I don't care if they go to jail. <laughs> there you go. Take that mean people. How about that? Yes. No. I don't like mean people. I don't like mean people either. Let's let's take a stand, Bill, against mean people. Who You're taking the stand. Stand against yourself? I am. Yeah, you're going to jail, Regalo. Right. Enough. When we come back, we'll get the congressman's take on the latest events going on in Washington, D.C. So I'd warm up that cocoa if I were you. <laughs> cocoa. Guests on Red Eye will receive a free bacon tuxedo, ideal for people who want to look and smell great at the same time. <laughs>